Brexit is coming and politics is on the menu. So what happens when you send two people with opposing views on a blind date? I was really nervous. Will daggers be drawn? I mean, do we keep the borders open? Did you hear me say that? Or deals done? High five. <laughs> Will they want their Brexit hard? Are you feeling that? Yes, wow. because essentially... Or soft? And will the political... I would have voted for Brexit. Well, I'm leaving. Get personal. You know, we could have a wonderful time. Really? Okay. Darling? <laughs> Is this gonna have like a bit of a tongue-in-cheek kind of vibe to it? Okay. <laughs> Hello, I'm Zara. I was on Love Island this year, season four, and I used to be a civil servant. I mean, you have to be completely impartial. So I've chosen to resign. Do you know how weird it is to be able to talk about my political opinion? Like, I've been holding it in for three years now. <laughs> Conservative is what you'd say, probably. My name is Majid, Lord Mayor of Sheffield. I just generally don't fit the role, like what people would expect when they think of a Lord Mayor. People either like, they either like generally really like me or they just kind of really loathe me. I voted to leave. I voted remain. <laughs> I'm actually really excited. So I bought some flowers and I'm gonna set the tone a bit. I am single. In an ideal man, I have to be quite charming. A little bit sensitive and can have a good conversation. I just completely described my boyfriend. Like so over, everybody go home. <laughs> I was really nervous. I'm not usually outsmarted. I think this person's gonna be smart. Good. Afternoon. Hello. Hi, Majid. I'm Zara. Nice Zara, to meet nice you. Zara, nice to meet you, Zara. Yeah, if you don't mind, I've, um, oh. I know our country is going for a bit of a divorce, but I thought <laughs> I'll just bring Thank some you. flowers. Oh, and I Thank can't forget. You. I've got you some um, Sheffield's finest Henderson. Oh, Rush. amazing. Thank you so much. No, good to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. How are you feeling? A bit nervous. What about you? I'm really excited. Are you, are you single? No, I've got a boyfriend. Oh, this is awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I just leave? <laughs> what, what party do you think I'm aligned with? I'm not sure. I'd probably say maybe Labour. Mm, I'm just thinking, because it's not North. But I'm Green. Your Green Party? Yeah, Green Party. Very interesting. <laughs> Before you met me, what did you... What was a stereotypical green person? It was just in trees. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of leaves around the head. Yeah. No, I'm joking. And can I ask how you politically al align? Is it? Um, I'm quite conservative. Um, I always have been. How did you vote in the EU referendum? Uh, I voted to leave. What about you? Leave. You voted leave? No, oh, I was going to say, that wouldn't be a very good debate, would it? Did I just drink your drink? I also did the both no, mine. No, they're both yours. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Cheers, buddy. Oh, where's the Henderson's relish? Oh, it's here. Yeah. How so? Thank you very much. So sorry you were saying. Um, did you know that the UK has to submit its annual budget for review to the EU Commission before it even tells its own people what it's going to be spending. Like things like that, I think there are elements of almost control within the EU that mm. we don't perhaps need to have. We're not part of the Euro. We get so much of the benefits that other um, countries um, in the EU don't get. I don't think it's just the EU that's being difficult. I think Britain's being difficult by saying, listen, do you know what? We want all the rights, but we don't want freedom of movement. Listen, you can't have that. Like, yeah. It's simple. If you're in the single market, you're going to have freedom of movement. So mm -hmm. some of the stuff that Theresa May and the government has been asking for it has just been quite ridiculous. No, I so do agree with your points. Do you think Theresa May is doing a good job? She's trying her best, but if I'm completely honest, I think she went in very soft. And it's kind of like, for me, if you want to leave, leave. If you want to stay, stay. Like, we can't sit in the middle. Like, 
Do you know why she did that? Because she's trying to keep everybody happy. Like, yeah, she's but you, really the fact trying. of the matter is, you can't keep everyone happy no, no, in politics. Yeah, you I, never will. I don't think she's doing a great job of it. That's why I genuinely think we should have another referendum. What, do you, what are your thoughts on to when people say we should have a people's vote? A people's vote? Yeah. On what? One, the government have come with the best plan they've got, whether that's Chequers' plan, that'll be on the ballot. And do you want a hard Brexit, let's just leave with no deal, or let's just remain in the EU and with the intention of reform? You can't just vote again until you get the, the result Different you results want. So you're happy with it. Mm. But if we're being honest, like, when we voted in 2016, it was like, do you want to leave or remain, right? Nobody, even the government, didn't know what the outcome was that was going to be. Because let's be honest, they thought we were going to remain. It was only yeah, the whole thing. I, I thought this, we were going to, to be honest. I don't, the whole point about democracy is you're allowed to change your mind. I think that people will obviously change their mind now, and I, and I agree. I think that if there was another referendum, it would come out remain. But you can't just say, oh, do you know what, we're going to go down this path, and then you start doing it, you get all this way, and then you go, should we do it still? Do you think we should still do it? Should we still go for it? Like, I think that that's just all of that time then would have been completely wa like wasted time. Like, well, that, it's, I would, I it's devaluing it, I think. I really, devaluing the, the like, I think the referendum democracy. was shambles. There's a lot of propaganda. There's a lot of, like, but do you know there's a lot of opinions out there that, oh, Brexit is, is going down the pan. Why should we go on almost like a tainted view? Why don't we go on the original unbiased view that the... Well, the would you, would you say... You would, <laughs> unbiased? Well, so you would say the last referendum was unbiased and it was all a fair level playing field. So, it, was, okay. it would be more biased now than it was, okay. basically. Would you reckon there was any lies made by the Leave campaign? So, to the people, to the electorate? I mean, I don't know. 350 million pounds? I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure there was on both sides. I mean, I know and of course, the parties even the lie. Side, that yeah, is yeah, yeah. fact. A lot of people voted um, leave was on immigration and I think there's no integration there's no like unity and I think that's I do think that's a bit disappointing I just think that's just human nature oh absolutely so say I agree. if you move to whatever reason you move to the Democratic Republic of Congo mm. and you've seen some other people from Essex and like yeah, where, where are you gonna, where I'm going to go to the people from Essex you're going to live with your people like, I completely so, get and it and that's not to say that you're disapproving of the rest no, of the No, no, no. Because I'd, I'd always think, why can't we all be friends? Why can't we all get along? And why can't we all ex you know, respect each other's cultures and you know understand what it? People will say, listen, these, these black Muslims, they need to integrate more. So it's even like, for example, myself, right? Me, I, was, I was born in Somalia. Me and my family came to Sheffield to look for a better life. And I couldn't speak a word of English when I, when I first came to the country. Neither could my mum, but I integrate. I become, get elected as a council, become Lord Mayor. And that's still, people aren't so happy with that. They're like, what, what gives him the right? He shouldn't be Lord Mayor. That should be reserved to somebody of a um, specific background and whatnot. He's yeah. not really. So it's like, listen, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to integrate or do you want me to integrate? Mm. And it's a real shame that it's like that. It's, I think for me, it's less about immigration and more about the fact that people can't keep almost like coming in and taking advantage of things like the NHS, our healthcare system, and then leaving because that, it's unfair. I, I understand where you're coming from, but it's statistically proven that migrants are more of a gain to society than they are doing. They actually pay more in taxes than they actually take out. So we are winning. But also I think some of the rightful worries that you do bring, like the NHS is struggling, but that is all down to failed government policy. Cuts after cuts after cuts. It's like, government is just crap. Mm -hmm. Cuts to things that are being absolutely like taken advantage of, i.e., benefit the benefit system and the NHS. Taken advantage of, sorry. There are definitely people on benefits that don't need to be on benefits. But I think that a really good thing to be able to produce in the UK would be like a, almost like a couponing system to be able to really monitor that and just and know that it's not going to waste. Because I think it is quite a risky, risky thing, isn't it, to to give someone a lot of money and just be like here's some money for you if they're an addict it won't feed their addiction so i think i think that would be really beneficial i just think it's just a inhuman inhuman inhumane way to say listen here's some tokens you can only buy this on surgery because it takes that freedom I away agree. from people so people want to get a luxury from time to time and just because they're on benefits doesn't mean they shouldn't be able to do that but i think that there should be like at least like 50 to 60 percent of it should be 
should be that. No system is ever gonna be perfect. Like there are always gonna be flaws in a system, but we should try and make it as best as we can. We know a majority of young people voted to remain. And fundamentally, they're the ones who's gonna impact, who's gonna be impacted by the most. I have to probably just deal with the crap and just fix it. Yeah. You could argue that yes, people like me will have to probably pick up the pieces a little bit more than like my grandparents who are in their 80s. But I think that they are able to make a more informed, potentially more informed vote. I, I mean, I've gone and spoken in so many schools and you would not believe the amount of students I get looking at me like, what does this mean? But they do make informed decisions. If we look at like the Scottish referendum, they had 16 to 17 year olds voting. I, do, you, do you think voting it should be low to 16 to 17? Why not? I got my apprenticeship when I was 18 and by God, did that teach me a lot. And I think that if I'd have voted the year before, I would have had no idea what I was doing. Yeah, but that's your case. Mm -hmm. and I completely understand your case. But I'm a very, like, I'm quite an intelligent girl and I'm, I'm yeah. quite like, I'm quite motivated to learn. But do you not think had you allowed to vote, you would have read and you would have actually got more involved because you're allowed to vote? She's no. Like Harry is there anybody you look up to or like? Um, I worked under Amber Rudd. I kind of looked at her and I was like, that's a really strong woman who like knows, she knows her stuff. Her, she was a really good person to work under, quite inspiring. And also I really, I really liked David Cameron as well. He knew what he was doing. He was, he, I felt a lot safer under his wig, if you know what I mean? Like I felt, I felt happy. He, he, would you say he fitted the character of a prime minister? Yeah, I think he was a he was a stronger candidate for prime minister. Would you ever stand to be a politician? Would you ever? Could, I don't would, know. Do you think I'd be all right? I, I don't do know. Would like? Would you? I have I, I sold you anything? Like, have I? Do I? Do you think I'm good at? I, just, I feel like <laughs> well, you're pleasant to have a lunch with. Thank you. <laughs> Is that it? No, 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 no. That's just not. It. I think there's a gap in the market for someone like me for sure. I think there's such a gap for people like of my age or younger to get into government and just start making a difference as much as they can. I would encourage you to stand and as I'm a not, candidate, I'm not, um, but not a Tory candidate. No, see, I'm not, I'm not one of those people that will go out and preach Tory. I'm not, that's no. not me. I, and, it's and honestly, more... I, and I would not know what, whether you were a Tory without having to actually probe you and be like... <laughs> Sorry, um, yeah, sorry, That's okay. Um, be completely honest with me, right? I don't know how many first dates you've been on. Not many. <laughs> okay, as a first date, would you, how do you think I did? Do you think, are there any tips, do you reckon? No, I think, I think you've done really well. Like, I feel like you've listened to me and you look like you're really interested in what I'm saying. So I'd, I'd give you a 10 out of 10 for this date. High five. <laughs> I'll take that. Right, on that note, shall we yeah. bounce? Yeah, thank you so much for these flowers. No one ever really buys the, these um, flowers. Um, EU resemblance in the flowers? Like, no? no? So, <laughs> oh, is really the like, EU flower? Yeah. Oh, I get it. Sorry, I. Or my UKIP, brain. how you look at it, but I, I was <laughs> well, going for EU. Yeah. <laughs> but honestly, thank you very much. Thank and you. It's been a pleasure. I don't understand why you're single. I think you're fantastic. I really do. I swear to you, I've generally enjoyed it. She's been an absolute joy. I'm friends with the Lord. Is it the Lord Mayor of yeah. Sheffield? Erin Sheffield, come swing by. Oh, thanks. And then in five years' time, she's going to be a green MP. <laughs> and then the world will be a